Hey guys, how's it going? So, a lot of people have been asking me about what they should do with gearing early on in Counterside. And it can be pretty confusing. There's a bunch of sets, there's a bunch of weird stats, a bunch of specific stuff like anti-striker, and anti-defender, and then there's all these different tiers and like where do you even get gear? These are all questions that I get and I kind of want to talk about a few of them. So, first of all, let me just say this. When you're enhancing stuff, do not waste tuning materials. Don't waste them at all. So let's say I put in a piece like uh, this right here, right? Do not waste tuning binaries and especially don't waste set binaries. These things are insanely hard to get as a free to play player. Um, I have some money spent in this account, so that's why I have some. But uh, these things let you change the set, which is a really huge deal. You only want to use it on the absolute best pinnacle pieces that you're going to have on your account. Stuff such as the uh, Maze gear or the Gordius gear, for instance. As for these, you can use them a little more liberally. It lets you change some of the substats, but more importantly, you know, if you have a really good piece of gear, using it on precision is actually not too bad. It doesn't cost a crazy amount. You get to up the stat, it's pretty nice. But gear like the maze gear is going to be the main stuff you use it on, or Gordius, for instance, or some of just the top stuff that you're getting, right? So let me talk about some of the obvious pieces of gear that are really good and you want to get. So if we go to the shop and you go to seasonal, well, we got the maze stuff right here and some of the Gordius. So um, obviously you want to clear this shop out. And once you clear the shop out, great. But you're going to get more gauntlet points than you really need just for this. So it's okay to grab some of these as well. These are going to be some of the best pieces on your account for pretty much forever. And so grabbing these maze pieces for a counter character, grabbing some of the Gordia stuff, like Gordia's crown, Gordia's movement, is going to be some of the top gear you're ever going to get. And it's free. It's nice and easy to get. Um, but then there's some other stuff you can also get, I believe, here in Challenge. You can also get these, some more maze gear. So I'd highly recommend that uh, as you go through challenge mode, you start picking this stuff up. It's better to get then some of the other things like the set and tuning binaries and the info. You get info over time, so it's not really as big of a deal. So those are some of the best pieces you're going to be getting, and you kind of want to get those as soon as you possibly can. Now next, here's another big source of gear right now, and this is where I've been getting some of my stuff, is raids. So. Every time you finish a dispatch mission, there's a chance you're going to get this, and like a raid, right? And your friends might send you some, and people from your consortium also can send them. You just have to participate, doesn't matter how much damage you do. And just by participating, you get the rewards, and more importantly, you get points towards the plaque exchange. And this stuff is good. Using the superconductive tokens, you can just spam craft stuff in the uh, workshop, which is a really huge deal. You get stuff um, that's amazing, like set binaries, etc. And you also get these things, these gear coupons. So I've opened a few of these, but if you look at what's inside, there's some good tier 7 gear and you get to choose which one. So I chose like, you know, relic hands for one, I chose a relic case for one, I chose a couple of relic crowns, and I've been using some of this stuff on some of my characters. You also get a couple of other awards um, for like little selector kind of things for tier 6 gear as well. Um, I have a couple right here. I've just been holding on to these because I don't know exactly which one I want to grab. I'll probably grab one uh, when I realize like maybe I need a bunch of crowns or something. So I'm just kind of holding on to these right now. Uh, I'll probably use them at some point in the near future. So those are some of the main sources of gear, but there's a bunch of other stuff you need to do. So first of all, where are you using most of your um, Eternium here, right? Like where is it going? Well. When you're done with the, all the little extra stuff like events, you've done your little side story stuff, well, you gotta hop in here to get some gear. Go to Rat Extermination here is what a lot of people farm. It gives you a ton of these and you go to the workshop and you spam craft. Um, this is where you're gonna get a lot of uh, gear that's like filler gear for a lot of characters, but also just uh, maybe you have like three pieces of really good gear and you get a fourth piece that completes the set that's like pretty decent, and you're going to be getting lots of tier 5 gear stuff from this as well. Now, let's talk about what makes a piece of gear good. What do you want to do as a newer player? Well, when you're a newer player, sets like attack set and stuff like that can be pretty good, but end game, what are the big sets? Well, Attack speed is one of the biggest ones. For DPS that doesn't have to rely really heavily on skills, it's pretty important to have a lot of attack speed sets. And for a lot of characters that use a ton of skills, 
they're going to be using cooldown set cooldown set is definitely by far one of the most used sets in the game it's incredibly important so these two sets are a pretty big deal and that's what a lot of endgame characters are going to be using as for tanks though a lot of tanks what they're going to be using is hp set and i don't really even seem to have in many here at all now that i think about it oh well here's one but so most tanks are going to be using hp set you can use stuff like defense and evasion set but overall end game you're going to be using that stuff right it's pretty important to just get as much health as you possibly can stuff like evasion doesn't like just infinitely scale it kind of has diminishing returns as you go so you have to keep stuff like that in mind so those are overall the most important sets and then there's obviously some really big substats so for instance one reason why the maze gear is so good is because it always has this anti-ground damage which is kind of just amazing um, but what's some of the other best substats? Skill Haste. Skill Haste is insane. You obviously always want it with uh, cooldown reduction gear as well. Um, there's other things like anti-ground damage is a role you can get, which is amazing. Stuff like crit damage can be really good. But overall, you don't want to waste too much rerolling on a normal piece of gear, but you do want to reroll stuff like this Maze Crown. Like the only reason why I have all these stats looking like this is because I did some rerolling on it. Uh, or other, you, otherwise you'd have to be insanely lucky to just have this drop naturally, right? So, once you've gotten your gutter rat stuff done, you, well, you're never done, and you've done a lot of raids, and you've gotten your maze gear, you should have a nice setup start. Are you going to have an insane amount of gear? No, you're going to be giving a lot of filler gear to most of your characters, and a lot of characters aren't even going to have sets on. So, for instance, um, currently... A lot of my characters have completely broken sets, like uh, my Gaon here. This is all just broken set stuff, but when you look at it individually, it's like, okay, pretty good weapon. All right, pretty good uh, <laughs> like case right there. Okay, pretty good damage there and pretty good damage there. And when you combine all of that, if I were to just try and complete a set, putting some junk together it wouldn't really have been better. So the auto equip option was just pretty good. Now, ideally, I would want attack speed set on her and i have one attack speed piece here but i would need three more that's pretty hard early on so don't worry too much at the very beginning gear isn't everything what's going to really carry you through the game at the beginning is characters and limit breaking and things like that so make sure that you get all that done um also raids take a ton of info like an insane amount so one tip that i would definitely say is going to covert ops here i think is pretty important you can farm some info from here. Um, I think the first time completion bonus gives you a bunch of extra as well. But uh, early on in the game, we're going to be starved for info. So being able to do this daily can be pretty helpful. I think you probably want to do both of them. It does take a lot of Eternium though. But uh, if you're really running out of info or looking a little low, you might consider doing that because you want to get those raids done as soon as you possibly can. They're pretty competitive and, uh, you know, people complete them pretty quickly. But you want to get all those rewards and then you can start going into Gauntlet. Basically, as you're ramping up this gear, you're going to get farther in Gauntlet. You're going to get more points from that and it'll just be helping your account overall. So I'd highly recommend all of that. So one other thing I would definitely like to note, though. Something that uh, a lot of people ask me is, should they re-roll the exclusive gear that they get? No. So, at certain points, uh, events will become available where you can actually farm some of this gear. You can get some points that you can use to exchange this stuff. So, you don't really need to re-roll it, and you can save that for a really good gear like the maze gear instead of using it on this when you can just farm something like this. And only this character could use this item, for instance, so... It doesn't really matter if you get a perfect one of these well you could have just farmed for it and gone it anyways maybe done a tiny bit of re-rolling rather than uh you know starting from scratch and re-rolling everything it's better to do that on something like a piece of maze gear that can be used on anybody you can just swap off like what if uh Zhao Lin gets banned a bunch in uh pvp well you can't just swap this to another character so you definitely have to consider things like that in the future, we're going to be getting other sources of gear, such as Shadow Palace and other things like that. And so, gearing's going to change a little bit, but I think overall, this kind of covers a lot of the beginner stuff. And I would definitely say, be careful with your resources. Don't waste them, because in the future, you're going to be wanting to use some of those binaries and stuff like that on uh, some of the really endgame good gear. And you'll regret using on some of this just kind of more temporary gear that you might have right now. So definitely be careful about that kind of stuff and uh, I hope that's helped. Um, if you have any questions leave them below 
And if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like or maybe subscribe to the channel. And I hope to see you guys next time. Thanks a bunch for watching.